everyone, my name is Richie and welcome back to another video. Today join me on Transport Fever 2 because today we're having a first look at the Autumn update which brings the much anticipated console mod support and I'm very excited about it. So yeah, if you didn't already know, Transport Fever 2 has had a massive update. I think it's the final update because there's rumours that there's going to be a Transport Fever 3 or something else. So yeah, they finally brought console mod support which means, you know, you can see that mod browser down there. Which means that us console players get to get our hands on all them lovely mods that you've all been making on PC. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. We're going to be looking at the console mod support mainly and looking at some of the other little features and stuff. So what I'll do is I'll restart the game and show you the sort of overview that they provide you for the update. So yeah, I'll show you what comes with it. So here we go, here's a little bit of an overview of the Autumn update. As you can see we've got mod.io which brings the much anticipated console mod support which I'm very very excited about. We've also got some updates to the driving behaviour making it more realistic so vehicles are distributed more efficiently across all lines and faster vehicles overtake slower ones. We've got some enhanced tools for road and track construction so you can make some curves and all that sort of good stuff. And some of the construction and replacement elements have been simplified as well. And we've got some more options for road and track construction, which I'm very much looking forward to because I like building train stations and train tracks and all that sort of good stuff. And of course, with any update, we've got some quality of life improvements and all that sort of good stuff. So yeah, let's jump on into it. So yeah, today I'm going to be focusing on the mod browser. I'm going to jump straight into it and have a look what sort of mods we can get. I'm very much looking forward to it because obviously they've advertised DB trains and all that sort of good stuff. Just to throw out there, if you've not watched any of my Transport Fever 2 videos before, we are doing a bit of a live stream series, building up a region, um, you know, kind of getting the grips of how it all works. So I might add some elements into that map, but I also might make a new map or add some stuff to like a separate map I've been working on. Uh, but either way, we're going to look at the mods and we're going to, you know, have some fun with this update. I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, let's jump on into the mod browser and have a little look at what we've got. So first thing to throw out there, well, I've just had a little look at trying to subscribe to some things and for some reason it wasn't letting me. You have to log in, which on the PlayStation is the, is it the share button, the option button, I can't quite remember, the start button, whatever they used to call it. Uh, so you have to make sure you log in, as you can see I've logged in there, uh, and then you can subscribe to some stuff. So let's have a look at some of the mods that people have been making. So straight off the bat we've got some stations, lovely stuff, some viaducts, that looks nice. Got a Scania truck, oh do you know what, I'm subscribing to that, I want a Scania truck. Got some other trains and stuff down here. Cool. I wonder if you have to like pay for these. I, I don't know. One thing I want to have a look at is like massive maps because on PlayStation you can only get like a certain size map. So that's one thing I definitely want to have a look at. We're definitely going to pick up some Dostos because, well, you know, if you know anything about my content, about my channel, you know we play a lot of trains in world. So rather fitting, I think, Dostos. Oh, nice. Okay, we've got like sound sets and stuff. That's quite cool. I, I mean, I don't know how that would work, but yeah, that's quite cool. Oh, we've got a little Ford Transit van. We're definitely having that, of course. We need some little white vans and stuff in our town. Australia. Someone's made a map of Australia. Stop it, right. Hold on, we're going to have to have a look at that. I've downloaded 2%. Oh, do you know what? To be fair, you've got a fair bit of storage. 2% and I've downloaded the whole of Australia. That's fine. We've got greenhouses for some reason. Okay, yeah, sure. I mean, is that sort of like an industry, I guess? And there we go, we're at the end of page 3. So there's only 79 mods you can actually download as of today. So today is what, the 25th of September? So this is definitely something to keep your eye on. Because, well, a lot of people are quite creative and there's some incredible looking stuff already. I'm going to have a little cycle through and see what else I want to download. And then we'll jump into a map. Maybe the map I've been working on in the streams and stuff. And we'll spawn some stuff in, shall we? i tell you what, I think we're definitely going to download this viaduct here. And we're going to get that station and I want to get that train because that train looks cool right cool so with all our mods installed I'm gonna jump into the map we've been working on in streams and spawn some stuff in and then I want to have a look at that, little look at that Australia map and see what's going on there in fact we'll do that first now how on earth do you load into a custom map hmm I might have to have a little bit of a play around here right after about five minutes of trying to figure out how to do it I've figured it out so you go to map editor load map and there you go australia right <laughs> let's do this i hope this doesn't crash and here we go we're in australia apparently let's have a little look um i'm, I'm not too sure what's going on here hold on right we've got melbourne down there we've got sydney so i'm guessing if that's the case this is the south sort of coast i guess let's have a look uh it looks it looks a bit like australia to me i mean it's a bit it's a bit warped, but and it's a bit too green, but it's definitely looking like Australia. We've got loads of towns and stuff. Look at this. We've got we've got Melbourne. Where's Melbourne gone now? Melbourne. This needs an F1 track, or it needs a park that can be turned into an F1 track. 
Here we go. We've got Sydney as well. We've got Brisbane. Beautiful. Some nice beaches along here. Bondi Beach is somewhere around here. Alice Springs. Is that near that, you know, that sort of mountain looking thing? You know, the big rock. Where's Perth? Perth is around here somewhere, isn't it? Uh, there's Perth. Hey, lovely stuff. That's quite cool. So hopefully someone makes like a UK one because that would be really, really cool. Right, so there you go. There's just one example of what people can do. So maybe one day we might jump into this and make like a whole series of building Australia. Cool. So now that I've looked at Australia, I'm going to jump back into my own map and then spawn in some of the trains and stuff and have a little look. Right, so here we go. We're back in my map now that we've been focusing on in streams. Let's mess around and play with some of the uh, new mods, shall we? So first things first, I want to bring in them vans. Now I'm trying to think if them vans, what would they do? Would they run industries? I'm guessing so. So what I'm thinking of doing is finding my depot. Where's my vehicle depot? That's somewhere around here. There we go. So this is Salford's depot. Let's have a little ganders. Uh, let's buy a vehicle. And uh, where is it? Right, I've been searching for a little while and I can't seem to find my Ford Transit van. So I'm guessing that's maybe just like general vehicle traffic. I wonder. Let's have a little look. No, I can't seem to see any transit vans around here. Transit vans? Hello? Oh, that was one there. It's not. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. Hmm. Okay. I can't seem to find any transit vans. So, let me know what I'm doing wrong there. I'm probably doing something wrong. Tell you what. Let's look at the trains because I'll know how to do that. So, let's have a look at the trains. I wonder if it will show up here. So, let's have a gander's. Oh, no. I can't seem to find that either. Um... I think I might be doing something wrong. I tell you what, let me have a little ganders in the main menu because maybe there's an option to like select whether you want mods and stuff. Let's have a ganders. Hold on a minute. I think I've realised what's going on. You need to enable the mods. Right, okay. So let's enable all the mods. Cool. So hopefully now, if I load back into that map, I should be able to find them. So let's give that a go. And we're back in our map. So let's have a little look. Let's go to a different depot and have a look for a Ford Transit van because that's what I want to do. Let's have a look. Hey, there we go. There's our Ford Transit van. Beautiful. 184 grand for a Transit van. Blooming heck. Well, sure. Let's buy one of them. And we've also got them Scania trucks as well. I didn't even notice them. We've got all sorts of different variants. Nice. Okay, so we've got like tandem trucks and all that sort of good stuff. Wonderful. I'm not going to download any of them yet. I'm going to get a couple of Transit vans. Right. What should we do with our Transit vans? What should we put them on? Actions. Set them on a line. And we're going to get them doing some... Hmm, what needs stuff? Let's have a look. Right, it looks like our bricks that are delivering to Whitley Bay aren't very good. So we're going to get rid of them. How do we do that? Sell them off. Cool. And then we're going to go back to this depot and we're going to put these two on that bricks line. Right, there you go. Go and get some bricks. How much storage have you got? Let's have a go. Six! Six! 184,000 for six bricks. Absolutely useless. I mean, <laughs> look at the state of them. They look actually quite cool, I won't lie to you. They look really cool. We're going to get a little snippet of that because four transit vans, we finally got them in transport fever. Cool. Now that we've got some transit vans going about the business, let's have a look at the trains because that's what we wanted to do. So we've seen the Scania truck as well. So we know that the mods work now. Right here, let's have a look in here. Oh, there you go. Straight away. So we've got the BR648. How much does that cost? Does it tell us? 7.9 million. Well, that's good, isn't it? Right, well, we'll get one of them because we can. What else have we got? It says we've got different variants. Oh no, only other one variant. Oh yeah, of course, we've got the Dostos as well. So we need to, oh yeah, we've got all the different parts of the Dostos. So at some point, I will set up a Dosto train as well. Right, lovely. Let's get this, what is it, BR648 or whatever it was. Let's get this on a line somewhere. What line should we set it on? I think we should put it on, I need to find out. I'll tell you what, little unit, I'm gonna put you on the Winchcombe line, I think. We'll pop you on there. So let's have a look at you. Let's have a little ganders. It looks cool. Ah, oh, lovely little horn as well. Beautiful stuff. Look at you. That's an incredible little unit. Look at this. This is insane. This looks absolutely fantastic and it sounds good as well. Go on. Off goes our other electric train down there. Lovely stuff. Diesel power can't go wrong with it. Lovely stuff. So there you go. There's an example of some of the mods. Beautiful stuff. I'll tell you what I do want to do. I want to have a look at some of the other new features in the update. So car behavior is it more realistic i can't quite tell really because we've not really got any motorways or anything so let's have a little look where it's the busiest see i've not really got anywhere that's particularly busy in this map but by the looks of things things are all right i probably should have a little look at my other map because that's got quite a lot lot of stuff going on it i mean it looks decent down here 
this cars yeah this cars overtaking there so I'm, I'm guessing that's that's worked that's come across the other thing I want to look at is the precision tools so let's see if we can make curves and stuff because that's one thing I really struggle with is doing curves because I end up doing this sort of stuff so let's build a road let's build this one and then precision mode oh oh I like that I like that I always struggle building straight roads in transport fever so I'm very much a fan of that and it snips as well snips snaps whatever you call it there you go yeah I'm a fan of that I like that a lot it's something simple but it works a lot is there a way that you can do like a curve hold on how do you do it ah there you go hey look at that fantastic I'm a fan of that uh, you know what something as simple as that is gonna make building cities and stuff so much easier so there we go we've got the precision mode we've got the traffic we've got the mods what else was there oh actually on the topic of mods stations I want to build a new station somewhere let's do that right what stations shall we sacrifice it might be Winchcombe now, there's a lot of people getting on the Winchcombe maybe not uh, is there anything over here that we can demolish I tell you what do I need to even demolish the station or is there one already built let's have a look ah there you go so you can build a station wherever you want and let's let's just shove it there have a little look right open top station so that's sort of like oh okay cool so it's like a dug in station a bit like an island platform a bit like what you see on Cathcart Circle and stuff sweet okay so you can make like a sort of like a subway-esque sort of network and have like stations built into the ground and stuff that's quite cool I quite like that. I mean, it doesn't really fit into this map of mine, but it's cool that we've got that anyway. And whilst we've been messing around there, we've got our lovely, what is it, 648 going past there. Lovely stuff. I really like the look of that. That's going to be really nice over here because I've built like this sort of mountain pass over here. <laughs> look at it. So this will be really cool for like some diesel trains and stuff. So it's all ele electrified at the minute, but you know, it's a cool little idea. Anyway, right. So that was a little look at the mods and some of the features. And tell you what, I, I like the look of them. There's going to be a lot of fun had. So there we go, I think we've covered everything from the autumn update and we've had a, a little play around with the mod support for consoles. I'm very much looking forward to the future of the mod support because it's been a couple of days and we've had some incredible mods come out. So, you know, give it a couple of weeks and we might have the whole of the UK to mess around with and some, you know, 158s and all that sort of good stuff. So I'm looking forward to having a little bit of fun with the mod support. And of course, I mean, if you're working on any mods or you know someone that's working on some mods, let me know in the comments because maybe at one point we could do like a little mod showcase, maybe in a stream or in a, in a separate video or something. That'd be really cool. So yeah, with all that said and done, I'm going to leave that video there. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you've enjoyed it. I will be streaming this in, in the next couple of days. So if you want to check that out, feel free to come and join. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please smash that like button and subscribe. If you're new, I'd massively appreciate it. So thank you very much for watching and I'll hopefully see you all in the next video. Bye bye.